Hey everyone, it's Dylan from Shutter Socks, just here to give you a super, super quick transition tutorial. If you're anything like me, then you probably hate when people don't get to the point in tutorials, so this is the effect we're going to be doing. As you can see, just like a really super simple um, transition tutorial, no no actual data moshing, it's more of just the, the effect of data moshing. But putting that aside, let's just get straight to it. I've already put two clips in the timeline here, just one of the lift in the CN Tower from when I went up there, and then obviously just the sunset that I filmed while we were actually up there. So what we're going to be doing first is, you will need some um, stock footage for this. I have supplied some in the description down below. Obviously, I would advise using it for the test, but if you are going to be using this for an actual effect, then I would say, you know, trying to find your own stock footage just to kind of stand out of the crowd. Um, but this is the one we're going to be using today anyway. I'll probably just cut it off there and there. We really don't need much room, to be honest. And then go straight into new down here, down to adjustment layer. Pop that just under the static stock, almost the static shock there. Um, and also click the eye on the static stock footage just to kind of hide it. You want to go over to your effects and presets, wherever obviously you've got that set on your After Effects and you want to type in displacement and then go down to displacement map. Pop that right on your adjustment layer. Once we have that on there, you want to go up to here where it says displacement map layer. Go over to this and click, obviously yours won't probably won't be called static stock, but whatever your stock footage is called, then you know, click that one. And you can already kind of see it work here to be honest. Now the actual key to this effect itself is the actual keyframing on the displacement. So if you just want to click on your adjustment layer, press E to pop down here. And then if you just want to click max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement there, just the clocks there to start your keyframing. So as a rule of thumb, you do kind of want to start it on zero just to have the, f the effect itself kind of, you know, fade in. And then where you are making your cut, Personally, with this piece of stock footage, go to about 50. I think that looks about best on both horizontal and vertical. Um, they don't have to be the same number, you know, just switch it up and see which looks best, to be honest. You just want to be kind of experimenting with it. And then where it ends here, just go back down to zero. And have a look at that through. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's, there's a few more things I'm going to be doing anyway, just to kind of thicken the effect slightly. Just a little basic things I'm going to do to try and flesh it out a little is go over here to your effects panel again and go to motion tile. Pop that on. You're just going to be putting that on both of your um, footage layers. Maybe put the output to about like 200 on the width and then the height as well. Um, what that's going to do is just make it so you can't. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference on this clip anyway because the, uh, the board is black. It just means when your displacement map's actually messing with the footage that it's not going to leave you with um, black edges around your footage like that but yeah it's probably just a little nitpicky you don't actually have to do it but it's just something i like to do to kind of you know flesh it out a little and then the other thing at the end that kind of does make the effect is uh the use of sound people do seem to underestimate how much sound can actually smoothen a transition so i'll just show you what i've created here just with some really simple kind of um free glitch effect sounds that i've found online that i will put in the description for you So this is a transition that I've used quite a lot in my own projects, and it is an effect that is quite effective. That's awful, awful wording. But I do think it is really interesting to just kind of experiment with different pieces of stock footage and, you know, VHS and, and TV static and, and anything that you can find that relates back to Glitch in some way. Um, and just seeing, you know, the, the, the difference that that can make for the transition. Um, but saying that, that is basically the video. I really hope you liked it. As I said, this is kind of the first tutorial I've ever made. So if I rushed a bit, uh, apologies, please feel free to comment and I'll try and clear some things up if I wasn't very um, clear about anything. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time.